Whether you're painting a room for the first time or repainting, a fresh coat of ceiling white will brighten any room. Using a Graco paint sprayer to finish the ceilings can save you time and frustration as well. For example, when painting a textured ceiling, especially the popcorn texture, traditional paint rollers can cause the texture to flake off from the surface. Spraying preserves the texture's appearance and provides a more complete and uniform coverage. Before you begin, you should have all the painting and preparation supplies you'll need for the job on hand. Visit your local Graco retailer or visit Graco online. When painting ceilings, it is very important to keep your head covered with a spray sock and a hat. You also should wear safety goggles and a suitable dust mask or respirator. Because you will be in the path of the overspray, some painters apply petroleum jelly to expose skin on their face or vegetable cooking spray on their arms to help make cleanup easy. An easier option is just wear long sleeves and gloves. Before you begin to paint the ceiling, make sure to complete the required prep work and be familiar with the safety instructions for operating your sprayer. Refer to other sections of this DVD and the instructions for your sprayer for complete details. The key to a good finish on the ceiling is selecting the spray tip that best meets your needs for the materials you are using and the surface to be sprayed. For most ceiling paints, a 515 tip will work well. Refer to a tip recommendation chart or check the paint can label under application for the paint manufacturer's recommended tip hole size. Be sure the hole size of the tip does not exceed the maximum capacity of your sprayer. If you are only spraying the ceiling, tape off or protect the wall areas using paper or plastic film. You can also use a spray shield to protect surfaces you do not want to paint. Begin by painting in a corner where the wall and ceiling join together. Your first painting pass is to create the boundaries or cut in the edges for your painting area. Point the spray gun and tip directly into the corner so the spray pattern covers both the ceiling and the surface that is protected. Continue to work along the edge from one side of the room to the other. Try to keep the spray tip approximately 12 inches from the surface you are painting. Next, you'll begin to paint the main area by pointing the spray tip at the edge of the previously painted area. Overlap the previously painted area by about 50%. Overlapping strokes provides nice, uniform paint coverage. Work only within an area you can reach comfortably, and consider a tip extension to help reach high ceilings. Continue your painting, remembering to overlap strokes until you have completed the rest of the room. Watch the How to Spray section for more spraying pointers. When you're finished spraying, the only thing left is to wait for the paint to dry. Remove the tape and paper or film covering the surfaces you do not want painted and clean up.